Hi guys! So here we are again and we're going to do another beaver craft this week for you. Um, I hope it's been lovely seeing all your pictures in the windows and all the bees and the daffodils that we did last week. So this week I thought we'd have a look at a craft involving egg cartons. Most of you will have egg cartons at home, so just the regular ones that you get your eggs in obviously. And I thought it would be nice to make some animals out of it. So we've got different animals as you can see here in front of me and we've got ourselves a ladybird and a penguin and a turtle and an Easter chick and an Easter bunny. Okay, so but you can do all sorts of animals. This is just to give you an idea really. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna have a go and show you how we do one of the animals to begin with. So I think I wanna start with the Easter bunny, okay? Because it's nearly time for him to visit us. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. And what I've done, I've got my egg carton here. Now you'll probably need help from an adult to do this, okay? Because this can be a little bit awkward. But the first thing I do is take the lid off and take that little flat bit as well. Now hang on to those because we will be using other bits of those. And that leaves you with the six bits that the eggs come in. Then what you need to do, like I say, is get somebody to help. And you're just going to cut to get one of the little egg holders separated from the box, like so. So the next thing to do, because that looks a little bit untidy around the bottom, is get somebody to just clip around so that the egg can stand up like so. It's just got an extra bit there. So it can stand up so that you can make your animal out of it. So the next thing I did was for the Easter Bunny, I decided to paint that bit white. So here's what I did earlier. So that's him or her all painted white, just the same as that cut out. But then I needed two ears like the Easter Bunny has. So to make the ears, you can just cut them out of card. But what I did was the sticky up bit of the egg carton cut that, which gave me a bit of a cone, and I sliced that, cut that in two, and that left me with a bit of card that cuts up, and then I just simply cut out two ear shapes. You can take your time doing this, but like I say, you might need somebody to help you with this bit. And that gives you two nice bunny ear shapes that you can put on. So you can use glue. I'm using either glue dots, but for this one, I'm actually going to use some really strong glue because I'd like it to set quite quickly. So I'm just going to put the glue around the base of my bunny's ears. And I've painted those a little bit as well. And I'm just going to glue those on to stand up. And the second one. Like I say, you, you can improvise, you can use your imagination, you can see what you've got available. Okay, there's no need to get anything special, it's basically just looking to see what you've got in your house. So I've glued those two ears on now, yep, and you can see I've got the ears on there. So the next thing I want to do is put my face on my rabbit. Now if you remember, when we were at Beavers, we used little red dots on the reindeer. You don't have to have these, you can just draw them on. It's just that I'm using up different bits and pieces I've got around the house. So I happen to have like a little red pom-pom dot. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little blob of glue in the middle. I'm going to stick that dot on there for my bunny's nose. Then for his eyes, now again, I'm going to use googly eyes because I've always got googly eyes in my house. But you can draw the eyes on. If you don't have googly eyes, that's absolutely fine. It's a bit like when we did the daffodil and the bees last week. Use what you've got to hand, okay? So use what you've got to hand. So pop another little bit of glue on there and another eyeball for his googly eyes. Oh, and they go on there. So that so far then is Bunny's face and Bunny's ears, okay? So what I need to do now, I need to add his face on. 
So I've got myself some felt tip pens because my paint is all dry on here and I'm just going to draw a nice smiley. They're actually his cheeks but because you do them like that it looks like he's smiling. And then I'm going to add some teeth. Now bunnies have two big teeth. A little bit like another animal that we use a lot of. I wonder what that could be. Yeah, it's a beaver. So he's got some little dots on there for his whiskers. And you can draw three whiskers on there. And that's our bunny's face. Now if you want, you can also get a felt pen. And if you want to do, you can colour in the inside of his ears as well. Pink. Or whatever colour you want. Just to finish him off. And that is a very simple, very quick Easter bunny. So there you go. He's got himself a little friend now. So those two mates for life. So that's our Easter bunny. So just to give you an idea now of the other animals that you can make, we've got an Easter chick. Okay? So for the Easter chick, I did exactly the same. I just cut out one of the little egg portions out of the box rounded it off and the thing I used for his or her I keep saying his for the beak and this is quite ingenious those little flaps that egg boxes have have sometimes got bits on them like that that stick out so that when you close the eggs it fastens it in so if you want to do you can use one of those as a beak and again you would need to glue that on there but that's what I used for that and I just painted that one orange and put my googly eyes on and then for the little wings I don't know if you can see that but they're just part of the box lid too so again I've got a green box here just because that's what I've been using all I'm doing there is snipping off a couple of pieces and then either glue dots or glue and you can glue them in place for its wings now I had a feather so I did put a feather on but you don't need to do that you can do you can do whatever you want or you might want to draw a nice fancy tail on a bit like a peacock but that's up to you that's my little Easter chick the next one I did this is a nice easy one is a penguin so again when you've cut the section out of your egg box here we go sometimes you find that they've got like a little raised bit that almost looks like a tummy yeah so on that little tummy bit there I just drew around with a black felt tip and I didn't color that bit in but I colored all the rest of it in put my googly eyes on I cut out a little beak just out of some red card it was actually off a cereal box stuck that on with some googly eyes and made a couple of feet to go on the bottom and that was my penguin so that's another animal that you can try and then another one I liked was a turtle now with the turtle and I'll show you as well because the next animal was a ladybird those are a little bit lower so what I did with the egg box you'll see it's got bits that stick up when you've cut it off so whoever's helping you you can ask them if they'll cut the egg box the little bit the egg came in even lower like so doesn't have to be exact and when you've taken it lower it makes like a little shell so you've now got that little shell to use and all I did there I got some card it happened to be green card that I got off the packet of my glue dots and I just used the card off the bottom but you don't have to you can use any color or any card or any bit of paper and I just made four legs a little head and again glued a couple of googly eyes on and I painted the shell or I did it with the felt pens green and I did some lines on with some darker green to resemble the turtle shell so that was turtle and then my personal favorite is the ladybird really easy to do so I just colored all the all the ladybird in red you can paint it but it takes felt tips just as easily so I colored it all in red I did black dots all over it lots of black dots and then simply got a pipe cleaner you don't have to have a pipe cleaner it could be a piece of string it could be a couple of twigs out of the garden something like that but I bent the pipe cleaner around to make the little antennae 
I even folded them over a wee bit just so that the ladybird is listening and I glued that on first and then I also had some pom-poms because I've always got craft stuff so I just simply then glued a pom-pom on top of the little antenna eyes glued that in place and a couple of googly eyes and there you go that was my ladybird so there you have it guys that's some nice little animals that you can have a go with I can't wait to see all your pictures of everything that you've been having a go at um, put you in the middle you two there and that just came from one egg box and that kept me entertained for a while so it'd be lovely to see your pictures and um, have a go at it if you haven't got egg boxes fine don't worry maybe you can make animals out of paper cups or anything whatever have a look around the house see what you can do so i hope you've enjoyed that and i'll be back next week with another easter craft for you okay guys take care see you soon bye